Hi everybody, today I have a very exciting tutorial for you. Here is Texturing XYZ website and this is VFace library. If you didn't heard about it, those assets are one of the best digital humans available out there. The quality is amazing, the texture maps are amazing, micro details are amazing. These are one of the most hyper-realistic characters. And the good news is they are working inside Metapipe without needing any wrapping process. A couple of weeks ago, we reached to the Texturing XYZ team and asked for some test files so that we can work on that and implement those VFace meshes inside Metapipe genetics workflow. So this is Zanna. Zanna is one of the characters inside VFace library. And today I will show you how we did this animation. I will break down everything that you should know about facial animation, Metapipe and MetaHumans so that you can replicate similar facial animations by your own. You can get all of these meshes from this site, Texturing XYZ Collections VFace, and you can use Subdivision 1 and also Subdivision 2 meshes for your facial animations. So let's dive into Maya. I will show you the process. So this is Maya and I have my Metapipe UI on the screen. Inside it, I will go to Genetics Workflow and I will directly import that Subdivision 2 Zanna Mesh. So here is our head mesh. As you can see, this is Subdivision 2 and this is VFace topology. It's not MetaHuman topology. Also, those eye meshes are not MetaHuman topology. What I will do is I will click on my head mesh, only the head mesh, not eyes. And then I will go back to Metapipe UI, Gene Transfer Settings, and inside it, as you can see, we have a text field for custom template. I will write here XYZ, and because we are using Subdivision 2 Mesh, I will add a suffix called Sub2. And if you don't have any subdivisions, if you are using Subdivision 1 Mesh, you can delete that, and you can update it as XYZ, and click on Update. But I have subdivision 2, so I will write here XYZ subdivision 2 and update. And it says it is updated and click on confirm. And then I will select mesh type as head because I will use only the head mesh. And then I will get the final topology as custom topology. I will go back and I will select only my head mesh and click on gene transfer. You don't need to do anything else. It just automatically calculates everything and first it turns into MetaHuman topology. Don't worry, it's just a temporary mesh and then it will turn it back to custom topology, which is VFace topology. So let's go back and this is, as you can see, MetaHuman topology, same mesh. And right now we can continue with the joint transform process. I will go here for the settings, enable save DNA and build body, and then go back. And also I need a body mesh, but since VFace topology doesn't have any body mesh, I can put a dummy body inside this process. So I will go to batch import, Arsene Spells folder, and I can load my female body mesh. So this is a dummy mesh, you can use anything else. It's not important. So I will select this, eyes, and the head mesh. Click on joint transform. This process will rebuild everything from scratch. It will rebuild the skeleton, the blend shapes, everything. And also, this process converts MetaHuman topology back to VFace topology. So we will have the VFace topology at the end. And here is our MetaHuman skeleton and our VFace mesh. As you can see, this is not MetaHuman topology. So let's hide body because we don't work with body. And then I will go to spine. And then in here, we have some buttons. You can check those buttons inside our documentations. I will just show you one button in here, which is S for skeleton hierarchy. And it will select all of the hierarchy and then when you go to radius and set to 0.1, now it is easier to see the face with joints. 
Let's check our facial expressions. As you can see, it is working. But we need to fix some shapes because when I enable some of the expressions, as you can see, this is not a perfect result. We just need to clean the mesh. We don't need to sculpt everything from scratch, but we just need to clean the mesh and sculpt some volumes. So again, I will show you another button in this area, which is reset controllers. If you click on this button, it will reset all of these controllers back. So what we will do is we will export our blend shapes and then sculpt on them, fix them, and then go back here, import all and click on blend shape edit. We will replace our sculpts with the existing blend shapes and then we will assign materials and export the mesh. That's all. It is easy. Let's export our blend shapes by clicking on blend shape export. Now I can open my ZBrush. Let's import our blend shapes by using Subtool Master multi append function. And then I will hide all of the meshes and unhide teeth and eyes. And as you can see, most of the meshes are okay. We just need to fix some of them. For example, this one. It's just because of this Asian type eyes. It is because different type of eyes from original materials. But we can fix it easily, no problem. And then let's check other sculpts. And maybe in here we need to bring some more volume here. We don't need to change too much things. We just need to add volume here. I think I can exp explain it better in here. So we have this shape, which is looking okay, no problem. But our volume is like this, which is not good. We need to make our volume in here like that. And that way our expression will work okay. These are also the same. For example, this mesh is good. We don't need to fix too much things. Maybe we can smooth this area a little bit and that's all. Yeah, that's it for this shape. You don't need to fix all the shapes. So let me show you at least one of them and then you can do similar things for the other shapes. This is a closed mesh. What you can do is you can, if possible, you can enable symmetry, but in this case, it's not symmetrical for my shape. So I will disable it. And what I will do is I just need to smooth this area and move this shape to here. Just smooth this area and I think it will be looking okay. Yeah. Maybe smooth this area as well. So you can also move the eyelids and by looking at your reference, you can change the, its shape. Do this. Yeah. I just quickly fixed it, but you can spend more time on it. So it is looking okay. You can do the same thing for the other side as well. And if you go to other shapes, for example, this shape, as you can see, it is looking not bad. The only thing you need to do is, or the only thing what we did is just bringing the volume back and smooth this weird deformations. So you can smooth this area like this. And then we just need to move the lips so that we can bring the volume back. As you can see, this is pushed back like this. All we need is just move it like that, make a half circular shape for the lips. You can look at your references. It's better to look at your references. I'm just doing it from my mind because I already did this part. I already 
checked my references and I already have this memory and then I don't need to make it perfect because I'm just showing you how did I do this but you need to check your references so as you can see just bring back that volume make it a linear line in here so that it will be like this and then just move this part as well make it a linear line and then bring back the shape just look at from the sides and the front and the top look at from different angles and check if it is looking okay so from so so from this angle as you can see it is not looking okay so i need to smooth it and then turn it it looks not bad smooth it move it turn it and do this this turn it and search for weird deformations so it looks like and then turn it yes so as you can see it is looking great And then you can move on the next, the next, the next. So I will show you how it's deformed. Actually, I will compare it. I'll go back. So it, it was this and then store morph target. So we fixed it like this. It was like this before. And then we will do this kind of fix. We just smooth it and move the shape and for the jaw open so move target we also fixed these extra shapes in here as you can see we make it a clean jaw line rather than this let's go back to maya and i will import all of my shapes i imported back my sculpted shapes as you can see this is jaw open and i will hide it select all of my meshes and click on blend shape edit you can do this also you can generate combination shapes such as like this is controller one and this is controller three and those shapes also have combination blend shape if you fix those shapes as well it will work better so to generate those shapes from your sculpted shapes select everything go back to blend shape edit and shape generation set this to m for mod generation and I, I recommend you to set this to m for the first time and mj for mostly more exaggerated models i don't use mj for humanoid characters but m is important let's export mouth shapes while replacing those shapes i will go back and select my meshes again and click on blend shape edits Let's test them out. And as you can see, it is working exactly how we sculpted. it. So let's reset it and go back to ZBrush. So let's import some of our combination blend shapes. As you can see, we have one and three combination, one, three, seven, one, three, six, one, three, six, seven, one, three, four, and more. I recommend you to start from the double shapes first, which is one, three, three, four, six seven those are double shapes if you go to triple shapes sculpt double shapes and then generate triple shapes again and then after triple shapes generate four number shapes from your existing sculpts it will be an easier process rather than sculpting everything from scratch so this is one tree i can fix it by i don't know it is looking great i don't need to fix this actually but what i can do is i can Maybe smooth here and I don't know okay, smooth also you don't need to do anything sometimes sometimes you don't need to do anything else yeah 
you can just say, okay, it is looking okay. I don't see any bad deformations. I don't see volume losses. If I see it, I can fix it, but I think it's okay. Next. If you see everything is okay, just go for the next shape. And after fixing those, you can go back and blend, do the blend shape edit again. But I will show you one more thing, which is wrinkle maps. How we can create wrinkle maps? Metapipe also exports those wrinkle map meshes from combined shapes. So this is a wrinkle map mesh. Metapipe automatically exports those meshes when you do blend shape edit. If you don't do blend shape edit, they won't be exported. You need to do blend shape edit at least once to get those shapes because this is calculating from your existing sculpts. So this is our wrinkle map one shape. What I did is I go to geometry and subdivide it to, you can do whatever you want. It's, there's no limits. You can go for six, go for five, go for four. There's no limits. Just it should be high enough to sculpt your details. So what I did is I go to subdivision five. This is the mesh already I did, by the way, this is not exported from Metapipe. I already sculpted on this like this. And then what you will do is after the sculpt, keep in mind that you cannot replace this as blend shape inside Maya. This is only for textures, only for normal maps. So you cannot do these kind of big movements. What you will do is you should sculpt surface details like this or like this. You should sculpt surface details to get normal map textures. After your sculpt, you can go back to C plugin, multimap exporter and export normal map out of this mesh. And then you can use that normal map inside Unreal Engine material slots. And this is how we mostly created our showcase video. After this process, everything is very simple. You just need to go to material assign and assign new materials for those meshes. Inside head group, we just deleted uh, head mesh. Also, we deleted some of extra meshes such as saliva, eye shell, eyelashes, eye edge, cartilage. We don't want to use those because if you want to use them, we may need to fix all of them. We just don't want to fix all of them. And then you can delete those. I just have custom topology heads, eye right, eye left, and teeth mesh. That's all. All meshes have separate materials. And now we can export our meshes by clicking on export. And that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your materials and bye.